Hello and welcome back to Smart Graphic Design with Adobe Photoshop. In this chapter, we are going to learn how to design stationary or corporate identity. And obviously, in corporate identity or the stationary design, the important element is the logo. So let's have a look at few important things about logo and logo design. Logos can be divided into three main categories. The first one is symbolic or iconic where you where we use symbolic representation of the subject. Uh, second is the typographical and third is the mix of both symbolic, iconic or typographical. Logos can be further divided into nine different parts or nine different categories for simplification. And the first uh, category is the abstract, where we use uh, an abstract element to either create a unique identity or to convey the message uh, in a creative way. So abstract necessarily doesn't need any meaning attached to it. It could be anything. It could be a splash or dot or a simple stroke or brush stroke. The advantage of abstract logo design is the uniqueness. Abstract designs are like a signature which cannot be replicated. It remains unique. However, it is difficult to sell the abstract concept to the client and you should have a strong team or the strong reasoning behind your abstract abstract element but then abstract logos uh, are always beautiful and uh, because of the creative freedom in the abstract category they are obviously they are unique and uh, they are lovable logos second logo type is the descriptive where you uh, describe your product or services or your company in a literal form or either with illustration or a photograph or or anything else like icon or a, a symbol in this case as an example I'm showing the ice cream and beverages which is a direct message and this is good for the small local companies where they do not want to be too creative or uh, too mysterious uh, but they directly want to convey their message with which has got a direct effect on their business. Third category is the emblems. So emblems are used uh, either on the logos of schools, sports clubs, police force or the armed forces or the security agency and uh, similar topics uh, or the services as well as they also are used in, uh, in extraordinary premium services or products like very expensive watches, very expensive uh, alcohol. It symbolizes luxury and pride uh, or the high value. Another type of another category of the logos is illustrative where we use uh, illustration either a direct illustration of the product or services or a symbolic represent, a representation of the products or services. In our example we have the wine bottle and a martini glass with a with the olive which symbolize uh, some sort of club or bar or a brand of alcohol. The next category is the letter form and in letter form uh, we use the letters or characters from some font with a little bit of uh, either enclosure like you can add a square to the uh, rectangle to this or you can add a ellipse or circle to this or maybe a semicircle to this or some other simple some other form of simple decor another category is a pure typography that means it's the, just the name of the company or services is typed in some some unique or simple font and very specific example would be Canon or there are several other products and services around you they use nothing but just a typed text that is pure typographical font another category is word type and in word type the uh, word itself is modified to indicate the meaning of the product or services uh, like in this case we have uh, the title as fast and few swift lines were used to indicate uh, the speed therefore the entire unit is looking looking with the fast action and it indicates the fast speed in another example of the uh, word type logo is the girls fashion design where I have used uh, small small illustrations of the girls or feminine uh, uh, shapes uh, 
along with the uh, fashion accessories like the skirt or the um, shoes and hairstyle uh, bags etc so the word itself now became indicative of the uh, product or services and obviously the third type is a very modern type which is 3d many of the old companies are now converting their existing logos into 3d the 3d logo indicates the modern age or the uh, contemporary age and it it looks modern logo design is a really creative process and uh, there are no rules and regulations or there are no standard procedures to come out with some fancy or uh, meaningful logo many of the many of the great logos in this world have uh, have been designed uh, accidentally and many of the logos uh, been designed quickly uh, without any thought process or it was just kind of a scribble and that uh, got turned into a very big logo or a very big identity just like Citibank so Citibank uh, was very instant reaction to the brief and uh, a very instant idea and it was immediately jotted down on the paper and that that logo that scribble itself finally uh, took shape of uh, the Citibank logo but for the freshers since we are talking about um, new designers new graphic designers I would say the best idea is to look at the best logos in the world and read about them there is a lot of material in the market you can again uh, search for the logo design black books and mainly you can search with the publication name called rock Port. and uh, they every year they come up with a new collection of logo at least few thousand logos they uh, print and describe so you can also read about the uh, story behind that logo how it it was created or how the idea was developed so I'm going to give you some smart ideas which will which will help you in uh, starting instantly with the logo design and you don't have to keep on thinking about what to design even if you look at the uh, the nine categories here it is very helpful in order to start the logo design instantly as in previous uh, chapter I said that you should always start with the scribble a, a pencil and a paper because you with the with the pencil on a paper you can uh, create many many ideas very instantly it doesn't uh, it doesn't take even an hour to come up with 10 to 20 different ideas so before that let me show you the how these these scribbles turned into logos and that too instantly so let's take this this scribble of abstract then the descriptive So once you freeze on your idea based on uh, your brief, uh, all you have to do is the is create the elements, and then you use the the typographical font. And the good news is that these elements are uh, most of them are available for free. And if you still want a premium quality element, then they cost not more than a dollar. And the fonts there are there are thousands thousands of fonts available many of them for free and many of them for negligible cost 